Hey everybody, I'm in the car. I'm on the way to Costco. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna check it out. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we made it to Costco. It is bright out here, so got my hat down. But we're going in, we're gonna have fun in the sun. Whoa, this TV is amazing. How big is it? 99. Wait, no. Yeah, that TV is 99 and a half inches. It's so pretty. Wow. I'd be afraid someone would take that out of my yard. I surely would. Oh, look at that. Christmas decor is here. Christmas decor is here. There's the Grinch. He's a mean one. <laughs> wow, some little boy would be happy or girl would be happy to get that. Oh, now that would have been my dream as a kid. Getting a little playhouse like that for my dolls. I used to see those in the Sears World Book catalog. You ever have, ever, was the Sears World Book catalog around when you were a kid? Or was that already over? I think that was over with before you were even born, Maria. I think I was in my late teens, early 20s when they got rid of the catalog. I remember being real sad about that. Ooh, that is pretty. I don't like to be too, I don't like long sleeves when I sleep. I, I don't like to be... I'd rather be warm because I put blankets on me and not because I have long sleeves. Because you can kick a blanket off, but what are you going to do if you're trapped in long sleeves and long shirt and long pants? Uh, I need a grandbaby. Let's see, since she doesn't care. It's like the same thing you have on, Maria. It's one of them hoodie things. One of them hoodie things. I'd rather dress in layers. Because then if I get overheated, I can just take off my jacket or my sweater or whatever. There's all kinds of stuff out here. If you got the money and you got the time, you got the money and you got the time, you can find just about anything. Here. Are these for men? These are Banana Republic Men's Chino Pant. It's nice. For the fashionable fellas. We got some sweaters over here they can buy to go, go with it. Ooh, that feels soft. I think that's more of a sweatshirt than a sweater. Oh, this is kind of a cute print. It, is that for children? It looks like a little kid in the picture. I think that's for little kids. But it's cute, princess, so I guess I could wear that anywhere and everywhere. Oh, well, these are nice, yeah. These are like, uh, oh, they're very, very, very soft. They're like buttery soft. Mm-hmm. I always like brown. I don't have a lot of brown clothing, but I like brown clothing. The, uh, they're joggers, and they're very buttery soft, and flowy. That's what they're supposed to look like on the body. Fine. They call it a brushed tight for $12.99. That's a pretty good price. I guess it must fit super close to the body if they're calling it a tight. Got the sweater here. Somebody it's like a long cardigan. It is $19.99. I don't like this pattern for me, but it's not a bad pattern. It's just not for me. I'm trying to fold it a little bit. I had a Christmas sweater with a big giant Christmas tree and a Santa Claus on it. That was when I was in my 30s. 
somebody told me, you're too young to be running around in them. Jesus. In them, uh, grandmother Christmas sweaters. But I still kept wearing them. I wore them until they got too big for me. I thought they were cute. Every year I'd pull it out. They've got lenders. Every kind of jar that you could ever hope for. I guess these are like little old snack containers. Cool. These are on clearance. What are they? Oh, those balls. I've seen those. <clears throat> I've seen those advertised online. <clears throat> I don't think that I would want them. I, because they're hard. I think they'd be hard to clean and keep clean. Oh, I have one of these at home, the little small one. And I use it to um, keep water in to fill my coffee machine. And uh, let's see, they charge thirty-two forty-nine. How many do you filters do you get? Just ten. one, a ten pack. Okay, I have to come back here to get my filters. I think I've got one additional filter at home, and then twenty-one forty-nine for that. The only thing I don't like about this is when you pop the top. There's a top up here. You pop it. Oops. There's a little thing up here. You pop it open. Right here. You pop it open and then you fill it up with the water. But it doesn't fill up immediately. You have to let it sit and drain into it and then come back. So if I drain the whole thing filling up my coffee maker, then I've got to come back to it three, four times and fill it back up again. Oh, look, Maria. This has replaceable plates. We were just talking about this. How cool it would be to have a an all-in-one it's only $20 I'm really shocked by that because I'm not big on waffles but every so many years I want a waffle and and I feel the same way about a pancake this would be so convenient to just whip up one or two waffles for myself every so often you know like couple times a year or once a year this rice cooker looks like a toilet now y'all tell me if I'm if I'm wrong does this not look like a toilet to you it looks like a little baby toilet or or an American doll <laughs> for a little well they're kind of big those American dolls they're kind of big they're about the right size for it Oh, I see. My daughter doesn't want to be on camera, so I can't really show her much or she'll get mad at me. Colanders. Oh, oh, I like this measuring cup set. I've been wanting to go into stainless steel because I keep hearing more and more how all the plastic stuff that we use is toxic. And they say don't even put it in a dishwasher because it emits fumes that contaminate everything oh this is cool this is the um silicone supposedly at this point in life they're saying silicone is safe but you know how that works right they tell us to eat hot dogs for 20 years and then they tell us it causes cancer first they tell us to stop eating butter and get take margarine it's so good for you and then we eat margarine for 10 years and then they say oh it's killing you go back to butter so use your Use your own discretion. Gorgeois. Gorgeois. Here they go up here, out and about. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I like this chair. I wouldn't mind getting one of those. When you go to the park, you can sit. Those benches at the park are so uncomfortable. If you sit on them for more than 10 or 15 minutes, it's like, forget about it. You're in we're in discomfort. But this is adorable. I want you to see the handles on it. Let me back up. That's me. In case you didn't know. Now you know. That's me. This is a little very small profile uh, lazy boy chair and I like that. Small profile. This actually would be a good chair to have in my living room. The chair that I have now is extremely comfortable. 
It is part of a furniture set that I had given to my son because I had bought the apartment 2B sofa that I have now. And um, he did not room in his apartment for everything because it was a sofa, an ottoman, and a chair. So he just took the sofa and the ottoman and I kept the chair. It doesn't really go with my sofa, but it's so incredibly comfortable, but it's bulky. And this would be perfect. And it's not fabric, which is great when you have pets because you can just wipe it off and brush it off if you get any cat hair or dog hair on it. It's not the end of the world. Excuse me. Oh, they got wine here. I live in a dry county. So I'm always surprised when I come into Little Rock and I see alcohol out and about for purchase. I got a lot to choose from. I made some apple crisp the other day and I really wish I would have videoed it. I just wasn't thinking. It turned out pretty good, but I think I put too many green apples in it, so too many of the bites were tart apple. And I used quick cooked oats, and I should have got slow cooked oats because it wasn't quite as oaty and crunchy as I would have liked. I might make it again sometime. Wow, look how expensive those little tiny watermelons are. $7.89. $7.89 for this little bitty. It's not that big. Here's my hand for reference. It's not that big. They're tiny. What did you choose? So these two. What is the flavor is what I'm asking. Everything. And what's that? Honey wheat bagel. Okay, I guess you can try. I mean, if you want to. Yeah. Look at all this meat choices. I had got some salmon from here that said it was Atlantic wild caught. It was, it was long like this and I cut it up into pieces. I don't know if I just wasn't used to I've had wild cup caught before, but that stuff was so bitter to me. I'm like, is it me or is it the salmon? What is the problem here? Because I just couldn't tolerate it. I just I just couldn't even finish eating it. I just gave the rest to my daughter. I said, here you can put this stuff up and eat it. one of these salads it was okay I haven't tried anything like this so I can't give a review on that but the salad was just okay it was just a giant version of I mean it was nothing special there wasn't that much meat in it seasoned chicken uh, chicken wings I, I saw a video once where they said you shouldn't buy the pre-seasoned meat because sometimes that meat is it's not fresh anymore. It's reached the expiration date or it's close to it, so they just season it and then they put it out for purchase. And I've heard that multiple times over the years. I'm over this cold food section. I'm ready to move on. Let's see, what's this sample? I can't tell what that is. I think it's tortilla chips with a cheese. It's good. It's got a white cheese sauce, and then she put, you know, she poured it over the chips. It's okay. I don't want to run over there and buy it, but it's all right. Look how tall that tree is. I can't even look up, up at the top because it takes my eyeballs right up into the lighting. This one's shorter. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it is so... Guys, when I come into a, a facility like this, with these horrendous lights everywhere, it's really, really hard on me. 
and I can't stay in places like this for very long and I have reached my limit. That's so cool though. I take a picture of all this beautiful Christmas decor. You don't have to wait for me. You can go to check out. I'm ready to get up out of here, guys. This is like torture on the eyeballs. All oh, these lights. I'm backing up so you can see better. Look at that. And it is massive. I think three people could stand in front of that. That's how wide it is. Quite easily. Now this is on up high on a stand, so if I stand next to it, it would reach the top of my head. So on the ground, I'm 5'5", five five, it probably would reach my shoulders. But it's pretty darn big if you ask me. I don't know if you can see the twink twinkling of the lights. The lights twinkle, same on this. There's twinkling, twinkling light. Let me get close enough for you to see. Isn't that pretty? And then we got Christmas competing with, I won't say Halloween, but autumn, fall. Man, this doesn't even look real. I thought it was ceramic. I've never seen a pumpkin that color. I'm trying to see if they have a sign. Fresh pumpkin, jumbo pumpkin, heirloom pumpkin. Apparently, these are called heirloom pumpkins. Um, I think they're pretty interesting. I've seen tiny heirloom pumpkins. I've never seen them that big before. Anyway, this is a checkout. As you can see, it's a long line. This is everything we purchased. We got a couple salads. And these are our items. And I'm sure it costs a fortune because everything in here is 10 bucks a piece and up. I guess this will conclude the shopping experience in Costco. Catch you on the other end.